Well, I think for me, three words I would associate with IBI, and that is international, inspirational, and necessary. Uh, it's international in that we are in IBI Ireland are part of 72 sections worldwide, which really came home to me when I visited the Bologna Book Fair this year, and I began to understand the impact and importance and the, the vision and the power of IBI as an organisation having 72 sections and having those connections across the world and what we, we possibly can do. It's inspirational because it inspires people to keep giving and it is about giving and becoming involved on a voluntary basis for the most part right across the world based on the work of this woman, Yella Lepman, who not only was involved in the founding of IBI after, the war, or after World War II, but also in the International Youth Library in Munich along with Eleanor Roosevelt. And necessary because right now we need to talk to each other. We need to create places and spaces and ways and mechanisms and understandings whereby we as peoples in the world, and particularly in Europe, begin to talk to each other and understand, and understand the plight of peoples who are coming to us and asking us for help out of desperate situations. And that resonates right across, I think, the country nationally, particularly. It also draws together the best of the children's book world in Ireland and all of the interests that we bring. And that's probably most clearly seen in the makeup of our committee, which includes librarians, publishers, authors, illustrators, and people involved generally in the, in the children's book world. And I suppose where we underpin the book world then is in the range of awards that are available to underpin authors, illustrators and publishers in their efforts to create and produce and disseminate works of excellence for children and, and young people. And I suppose our specific work in the last 18 months has revolved particularly around the Silent Books exhibition which we had here in, in Ireland and which displayed a range of books which were accessible to everybody because they were wordless picture books of massive sophistication from across the world. And